Well, how's it going, Kingsman? Welcome back to another NTW3 video. This battle is another clan battle between the Rheinbund and LK clan. It is a 3v3, so, you know, actually a little bit of a change-up. Um, I'm not mistaken. I do remember 3v3s being a little smoother when they actually played the battle, which could actually make it a little more challenging because um, you don't really have a whole lot of delays and lags and that sort of thing, which, you know, slow things down sometimes. Um, but to let us look at the factions here, it looks like this is kind of a peninsular themed army, at least for the coalition. Um, actually for the Imperials as well. But for the coalition, you have a six, seven point Spain, a 11 point Wellington, and uh, eight point Beresford. They are going, going up against a 10 point Messina, seven point Joseph, and a nine point Suchet. Now I believe that Joseph is probably the Joseph Bonaparte uh, Spanish themed army here. Not sure which one of these guys is Joseph. Maybe it's him. That looks like he'd be a Joe. Seth. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one was this one was uh, kind of someone brought it to my attention, checked it out. Whew, it was a good one. And I was like, okay, I'm definitely doing this. You know, getting back into it, getting the best replays possible. Now, um. The coalition, they had, there's some of the units spawning right here, two of the armies spawned here, one spawned here, and it looked like they kind of were angling, going for this one little area right here, it's like they're aiming for this. Um, maybe the towns, there's a lot of open terrain here, a little bit of a gentle slope, kind of favoring the French, at least at first. Uh, the LOC sitting right here has a very commanding presence of the surrounding area. So I'm sure there will be some pushing for that, now it looks like we have some skirmishers open up some fire on some French cavalry. Uh, you can see though the French are rolling up pretty quick here. They got a lot of infantry already making their appearance. Side note, I did fix the uh, sound, so thank you to, well, I know it was the, the Lord's Creative Assembly. Uh, they commented, tell me about the new update. I think one of the first that did, so I appreciate it. Got waiting, got that fixed right away can't have the game without you know having the the graphics or the the sounds that came with the mod because those just authenticate it in my opinion it just makes it a lot better don't need a company doing it for us when the developers can do it uh but yeah no so the spanish pushing up a line here looks like they also are pushing on the left flank probably to uh keep an eye out for this french army that will be setting up along here this like they have some cavalry kind of being a cab defense force, maybe a little bit of scouting as well, some skirmishers. More cavalry from the A-pointer for the UK. He did push up, he has some light dragoons kind of scouting a little bit. Scouting is so key in these fights, being able to know where the enemy is focusing, where they're gonna be. I knew better than light cap was the extended field of view. Now he did bring some horse, some heavier, Force for the UK, some of the best quality cavalry, in my opinion, when it comes to you know C4s. Yeah, well. So you hopefully you'll both see some action, see some really good cab charges. Look at these skirmishers getting a nice, getting some nice fire off and actually countering the French skirms. But we do have cavalry that looks like it's gonna be charging forward. Some dragoons, I do believe. Oh, let's see, maybe some skirmishers are countering. Oh wow, all the skirm fire just broke that Dragoon unit. Uh, that's the danger when you see a lot of skirms. You have to watch out the, the enemy skirms that will just obliterate you. Now the French did push up Wellington, pushing forward his lines. Some squares in the front, he's rushing forward even more and more troops you can see. But France is going to meet them. Now the flank, Beresford pushing forward here on the right flank. Going to be huge if they can swing around once the French are engaged. We do have what looks like a, a little bit more of a development. More cavalry that charged in. Getting just obliterated by some line infantry. France has a heavy presence here on the flank. So this is somewhere where the, the Spanish probably going to have to turn and face. Maybe a little bit of Wellington will peel off. We'll see. Cavalry supporting this line that's pushing forward. Uh, so the predicament is that, I mean, 
the, the coalition has a strong flank here, but there's nothing really facing them. Now, they could push forward to engage this French army so that Wellington and the Spanish can push their lines over here to deal with this flank potentially. I'm assuming this is just one army here. The general's sitting here. This could be one French army all right here, but, man, they have... They're pushing forward everything. Artillery, infantry, the cav as well. Got some crossiers, some heavy cavalry as well. And you can see Wellington getting kind of caught a little bit on the flank. As the French managed to push forward line. You saw a heavy concentration of enemy forces. And Spain's going to be able to react. Maybe he'll threaten whatever advance this French were going to try making. But I do believe, yep, we're starting to see a French... At least a section of the army peeling off to deal with Beresford. Cavalry as well. Some more heavies, maybe? No. Just some dragoons. But yeah, they're peeling off a good amount of troops to deal with that. That may give Wellington an opportunity here. However, he's obviously trying to deal with the flake. Spain reforming, pulling back. They're probably going to use this LOC, maybe? They try to form a line around it. You know, that could be a wise strategy. Uh, for now, though, they are utilizing this flank that Spain had to save Wellington from getting outflanked. Nice fire. You can We've see taken the building, Obviously, huh? the French do pull back against that. And now we're starting to see uh, the French pushing here against Beresford. And uh, nothing comes of that. But the infantry is still pushing in this direction. Some heavier assault columns, so the UK are going to have to be very cautious here. Um, the cab is starting to push forward, but here we go. The engagement. Dragoons charge again. Square gets formed. Skirmishers get charged as well. Line of tree are pushing up as well, so they're trying to close in for melee. Man, this the UK have done very well at saving their skirms from cab charges. But here we go. The assault columns, I'm assuming, are about to roll out here. And these Portuguese are receiving the first of the melee. Nothing's still happening too much over here, so we're going to keep our eyes fixed on this right flank. Masses of cavalry pouring over this side. Here in the center, the flanking of volleys. Quite oh, brutal. The Portuguese managed to stand their ground. And the cav is here. Now, of course, the Portuguese do break. Oh, that's a perfect gap in the lines. I would. That would be perfect. Now they do wait till the Portuguese break and then they smack into these. French lines. Now there's more cavalry charging, more of this Portuguese. This is the forward line though, guys. And you can see Wellington's pushing forward a reserve line as well. You have that reserve line that Beresford has. So I think the UK are still looking to be in a good spot here. Um, and obviously Wellington is engaging here. So what's happening, guys? Obviously the French peeled off All and are still are pressing here against Beresford. But it is giving Wellington an opportunity to actually push this weakened center Spain can protect the flank still, and Wellington has re put reserves up here and is pushing in this weakened French center. Now, we do have the first line of the UK does break. That first C4 cap has broken as well. You can see all the Germans, the Queen's Own. They're breaking as well, so, I mean, the UK definitely have taken some losses. I mean, they definitely have inflicted some heavier All losses on the French. Running, especially when you consider that was as far as they got. Get some Dragoons and Light, light Dragoons. Engaging both may mutually break. Oh no, maybe. They should hold. Okay, let's check this out because this is where the engagement is now starting to heat up. The French have a massive battery in the center. 
going right into this UK line. Looks like some cavalry potentially is going to be uh, trying to go for that artillery piece. We do have a counter cav charge from the French. And, uh, ooh, they may break it still. Our men are running for no, they do not. Still, it is stopping the firing for just a little bit. Obviously, the UK are with Spain still pushing forward. France has formed up its line. Oh, a counter cab charge. You're on the flank. It does look like the UK have re engaged, sending in. Infantry. They have some squares formed that are still shooting. The rest of Wellington has pushed across at least his reserves to push over and kind of re-engage. I think they're trying to put a lot of pressure on the French all at once, not letting them readjust for, you know, the fight that's happening over here. At the same time, really trying to maybe crush that flank. Um, I don't see a lot of French presence right over here. Maybe they're shifting it over. Maybe they're going to attack. I'm not sure at this point. Spain is just in a line fight. Not a whole lot of uh, close hand combat for them, which is probably better. The UK, though, they got a lot of troops over on this side now. All the French cavalry is actually moving a little bit away from this engagement. They're shifting back, so if they were trying to go for a quick victory on the flank, it did not work. Holy cow, that, that's a Grenadier unit, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's a massive line of trade. Damn, look at them, they're going right at them. Of course, they're going to get shot in the face. Oh, by the Highlanders, who just repelled that attack. Oh my gosh, the slaughter. The fight's still raging. Spain seems to be doing quite well over here. Nothing uh, that they cannot handle. You know, they are taking that fight very well. Uh, the UK are now pushing this right flank. As they should with, you know, the French retreating. Might as well attack, keep them on their toes, not let them rest, reform. Got some Brunswick. Like some Jaegers in a melee. <laughs> oh, they break. Uh-oh, we have some cab. Oh, no, this... There is nothing to stop them from taking out this artillery. Except for this infantry, the Devil's Own. Uh, they can't form a square, though. Oof. That is uh, unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. However, they don't actually truly need the artillery. And it's going to force the, the French to lose a lot of cavalry. And the French don't want to lose their cab, guys. That is their bread and butter, in a way. We still have this huge blank. I mean, they did bring a lot of Portuguese, but they seem to be actually doing a decent job, even with them. Almost using the Portuguese as a meat shield to then get their good quality troops in the flank to get the best fire. These are like the Fusiliers. Yeah. Oh, yes, the Fusiliers. Look at this, three units of Fusiliers on the flank. That is going to be a tough time for whatever French regiments face them. But it does like France has kind of made their stand a little bit. They're still falling back. They obviously, obviously took some losses. They did seem to invest heavily in cavalry. And the problem is they just haven't been able to use it to the, the extent they probably would like to just because of the squares that you can have. Not sure what happened to the artillery P. Oh, there it is. So it is shifting fire to this side. That is probably a wise course of action. Really start focusing down the masses of the UK. As you can see, the French are melting for the rapid fire of this UK land force, I guess. 
What am I saying? This army! Of course they're on land. <laughs> oh, we have an engagement here. They're trying to... I mean, there's infantry in here that could maybe form squares. I'm not sure what the plan was. Oh, oh. Our general is under attack. Maybe they're hoping they can catch him out, maybe get a mass route, and actually, oh wow. It's working, and especially with the coordination of the Ragged Brigade coming down the flake. My goodness, the French are actually starting to have real problems there. That was a that was an excellent capture. And we do have even more Spanish cab now charging over here. They are just starting to take it take uh, the French by surprise. French are not expecting that flanking cab on both sides at once. The French are just starting to break. Especially with all this UK cavalry just running amok in almost the back lines of the French. Wellington has caved through. This French army is going to have to fall back to their ally. But the problem is they are... They are doing too hot anymore, guys. They were... They seem to have an excellent first initial attack. And maybe that's where Beresford took some heavy losses, but he held, and then with Wellington's reinforcements, obviously they seem to have made quite the uh, push. Now cavalry's just running down the French. UK Cav just running down this French line infantry and just breaking it one line at a time. And you can see the mass route being totally triggered on this left flank. France having to fall back. Now they are starting to inflict some losses here as uh, the French fall back. They have artillery still. They still have this little hill. Canister even firing. And light is going in for a bayonet. At the same time, looks like they're trying to make a more aggressive play here. Well, actually, they're being defensive. I thought that was, uh, I realized the UK charged in, not the French. Oh, here they seem to be going very aggressive, trying to break at least a part of the momentum that's going. The French are still just uh, exchanging fire. The Spanish have had it, I wouldn't say easy, but they've had a less complicated fight. It's just been a little bit more of just adjusting lines, getting some artillery in good angles, infantry good angles, and just shooting out the French. Um, over here, it's been a lot more of infantry and cavalry play, especially for that melee. All the Highlanders are in the thick of it. Now they're getting attacked on the flank by some dragoons. They seem to be holding beautifully. Some units have a shock resist. It's so important because even though they take a huge amount of losses within seconds, they won't just immediately break. Still, though, I'm, I'm starting to see this definitely shifting. Ooh, the cross years going in on this flank. Infantry falling it up. We'll see how far this goes against Spain. And Spain definitely is collapsing a little bit, which is why they're actually starting to pull back their lines. Um, they don't have to win this, they just gotta stay alive long enough so that their ally can push around, because obviously the rest of the French are almost totally beaten back. And there's still plenty of time, so LOCs aren't even a thought at this moment. We have 
killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Oh, wow. Joseph Bonaparte, I believe, is dead. Yep, there he is. Got sniped by some, uh, some infantry here. And you can see here, still the crossing here, still a fight. They're probably very tired at this point. France still pushing, forcing the Spanish to actually pull back even more than they were before. However, I think, I think Spain's about to regain control, especially, you know, as this cavalry starts becoming more non-existent as it just becomes exhausted. Ooh, the canister fires! And actually, even though they may lose the artillery, oh wow. Talk about timing. Beautifully done. Now to some scatter resistance, the only the only uh, true force the French have left is over here, and they are starting to run low. But a well fought battle, man. That was that was for a three v three. That felt quite quite uh, fun to in, to watch. I should say, liked it. It's a good one, definitely. But it does look like the. Uh, the Rhinebund clan is going to take this win. Artillery kitten just absolutely rolled, and the mass run just causes them all to break. Let me get the fast forward button here. I don't think there's anything really left. I think it's mostly just these crossiers. Ooh, a general is killed. Oh man, the Spanish general. Oh well. At this point, it doesn't make a. It doesn't make any difference. At this point, um, because Wellington's gonna roll over here. There's like nothing left for the for the French to do. They don't have anything really left. These crosshairs, like I said, are exhausted. They went in a little too late, I think, to actually make a real difference. Okay, now I can fast forward because there's there's yeah. And in fact, I may if if there's just scatter resistance, I'll just skip to the end so we can see the results of this. Our uh, men battle. are running, sir. All right, guys. So that was the battle. A like I said, victory for the coalition. Well done on their uh, team. But uh, let's put the results here so you can see. Um, so on the coalition side, you have Philippe. I do believe he was playing the eleven point Wellington. He got fifteen eighty seven for the kills. Uh, Dad L playing as Spain got 791, and then I am Razor with the the Beresford with 1536. So, I man, both these UK did quite well in this battle. Very close on their kills. On the other side, you have Sigismund. I believe he was playing Messina, 10 pointer, 1214 for the kills. You have Boro, no Bordo. Okay, I'm not even gonna try. Uh, I can't read apparently today. Uh, but he got uh, or ex Bordo Joseph. The seven pointer, he got 329 for the kills. And then you have uh, Met as Suchet, nine pointer, with 1218 for the kills. So actually, uh, Sigismund and uh, Met both had almost the same amount of kills, just like, you know, Philippe and I'm Razor. So it's kind of funny coincidence. But anyway, guys, that'll be the battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, I will catch you all in another video.